Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Fantastic Books and Where to Find Them. For this episode, I'm going to quickly list off some of our new-ish manga titles. I say new-ish because if you go by their release date, they may not be new, but these are different titles that we've gotten during the time that we've been closed, specifically during the spring and summer. For fans of our popular series such as My Hero Academia, Promise Neverland, Demon Slayer, Dragon Ball Super, and all the other great series that we have, we have absolutely gotten new volumes of those series in, so you can always give us a call and we can put them on hold. But for this video, we're going to be talking about specifically new series that we've gotten rather than the continuing series. So first up is a new release from Viz called Spy X Family. It's set in a city inspired by post-Cold War Berlin, and it is all about a master spy that is tasked with assembling a family in order to gain entry to an elite school. The problem is he unknowingly adopts a young girl who can read minds, and the woman that he convinces to play the part of his wife is actually a master assassin. The young girl knows who both of her parents truly are, but neither of the adults know about each other's identity. Next, we have Kaguya-sama Love is War. The anime adaptation of this series actually was nominated and won multiple awards in the 2020 Anime Awards. It's a romantic comedy unlike any other, where the two main characters are madly in love with one another, but refuse to be the first to admit their feelings. So instead, they devise increasingly elaborate plans in order to try and trick the other person into confessing their feelings first. No Guns Life is our next title, and it is a very cool cyberpunk noir. Juzo is an extended, and that's someone who underwent surgery to turn part or all of their body into a living weapon during a war. Now, he works as a private eye and specializes in taking down other extendeds while trying to recover memories of who he was before the surgery. Fans of the Metal Gear video game series may want to check this out, as the game's creator, Hideo Kojima, is a big fan of this manga series. Our next title definitely skews towards older readers, as it is the manga adaptation of Trigger's original anime series, Kill a Kill. If you are familiar with Trigger's work, this series has been described as a story where fan service is the plot. Special fibers in clothing give the wearer super strength and other various abilities, and the more fiber that is used in the clothing, the more powerful that these abilities become. However, the more powerful outfits tend to skew towards the revealing side as contact with these special fibers can be deadly. For a fun and silly series, we have My Father is a Unicorn. As the title states, our main character finds out one day that his mom not only remarried, but she also remarried to a unicorn in human form. The problem is he doesn't have any idea how to act like a human, let alone how to behave as a father. The mom is then called away on a multi-day business trip, leaving the two alone for a few days, and they have to try and figure out how to get along with one another and try and discover what it means to actually be a family. So the next title is a great one, and it even won an Eisner Award, so it isn't just me saying it, and it is Witch Hat Atelier. Our main heroine, Coco, dreams of becoming a witch and performing magic. The only problem is, in this world, you have to be born with magic. It's something innate to you. It isn't something that you can necessarily learn. Being born without any magical abilities, she helps her mom run a tailor business, where she eventually encounters a real-life magician and starts to find out that maybe magic isn't quite as inherent as people want to believe it is. So for those who need a nice, happy, feel-good series, we have A Man and His Cat. This is about a wonderful, feel-good story about a cat who has lost all hope about being adopted and felt that they would never find their forever home. One day, however, an elderly gentleman visits the shop and immediately decides to adopt this cat, feeling that he is perfect just the way he is. It's a really heartwarming tale about the bond that forms between the two, and it's told from the perspective of both the cat and the elderly gentleman. So next up is a healthy dose of nostalgia with High Score Girl. 
This series is a love letter to early 90s arcade scene in Japan, specifically 1991 with the release of Street Fighter 2. Our main character is a self-proclaimed Street Fighter master and spends more time playing in the arcade than he does doing his homework. However, his world is turned upside down when he notices that the star student from his class also frequents his favorite arcade, and on top of that, she's good, potentially better than he is. So it's a really enjoyable series whose story and artwork are filled with references that fans of classic gaming will enjoy. Fans of video games will also enjoy this next title, and it's the manga adaptation of Persona 5. For those who are not familiar with this, Persona 5 is a JRPG title that was released for the PlayStation 4 and won numerous awards. It is centered on a group of individuals who can enter a world called the Metaverse, which then allows them to become known as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts due to the fact that they then can access a person's palace, which is the manifestation of their distorted desires. So this next title is another wonderful series and is also an Eisner Award winner, The Way of the House Husband. It follows a former Yakuza hitman as he attempts to leave his past behind him and instead become the best husband possible. The problem is he has a very intimidating appearance and personality which can lead to a lot of interesting situations, such as accidentally scaring a door-to-door -door salesman, or getting in an argument with a Roomba after it skipped cleaning the corners. For fans of romances, we have the new series Perfect World. In this series, Sugumi is reunited with her high school crush when her company hires his architect firm. Her feelings for him are quickly reignited, but then become complicated when she learns that during college he suffered a spinal injury and is now paralyzed from the waist down. The series feels really realistic because she has that internal struggle of realizing that even though she doesn't want to let that uh, disability affect the way that she feels about him, she still has that hesitation and internal bias towards it. We also have Snow White with the red hair. Uh, Siryuki is training to become a master herbalist and has always had beautiful red hair that has brought plenty of unwanted attention throughout her life. When the kingdom's prince decides that he wants her to become his next concubine solely because of her red hair, she instead leaves him a note with a lock of her hair cut off and flees the kingdom. After fleeing the kingdom, she starts to fall for someone that she met along the way who also happened to help her escape the prince's clutches after he sent someone out to track her down. So we have also gotten the series Beyond the Clouds, which is shaping up to be a very enjoyable series for all ages. Set in a fantasy steampunk world, our main character is a boy who is an avid reader and tinkerer and dreams of one day seeing the stars without the haze from all the smokestacks in town. When rummaging in the dump for spare parts, he comes across a young winged girl who also seems to be injured as she is missing a wing. After healing her injuries, they decide to try and build her a new wing so that they can journey together and recover her memories. So our penultimate title for this video is Comey Can't Communicate. Upon starting at a new school, Comey experiences a surge in popularity as the students perceive her stoic beauty as meaning she is going to be one of the popular students and no one can be better than she is. The problem is that's not entirely true as her stoic appearance is solely because she has severe anxiety when it comes to communicating with anyone in any form. So one of her classmates finds this out and they then decide that they're going to try and get her a hundred friends by the end of school. Finally, we have The Strongest Sage with the Weakest Crest. This is an adaptation of a popular light novel series where in this world, magical ability is determined by the crest that you are born. Even though our main character is currently the world's strongest magic user, he feels that if he had a different crest, he would be able to become even stronger. So, he decides that he's going to reincarnate until he gets that one desired crest. However, a few hundred years have passed 
since he reincarnated, and now the crest that he has is actually seen as being the weakest one rather than the most powerful. Okay, so I know that is, was a long list of titles, but I hope there was at least one that you found interesting. As always, all these titles can be put on hold by giving us a call or going online, and we've also recently revamped our online request form that you can use, so you can request staff pick books or also use it to select uh, different book bundles that we have available, including our anime and manga book bundle that actually comes with a couple extra little goodies as well. So I hope you found something that you would like to read, and we'll see you next time on Fantastic Books and where to find them.